Hello beautiful viewers, this is Dina here again, and I'm sorry I keep wearing this hoodie, I just decided to make it my um, uniform, my little YouTube uniform whenever I'm doing a video, because I don't know, it makes me feel talkative. <laughs> um, first, um, real quick, thank you for all the people who remained, it, who remained respectful. Um, for when I was uh, giving my opinion on the G Dragon blackface thing, I know that was uh, a touchy thing for some, and um, I pretty much disagree with the majority of what people were saying. Um, so um, I appreciate those that remained it. That sorry, I keep having bad English today. Um, I appreciate those that were respectful. Thank you. Okay, um, so let's talk about today's topic, uh, which is black women, Asian men, and the K-pop idols, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, this is something that can be taken for, um, not just black women, but white women, Latino, Latino women, um, and whoever else that's not Korean or Asian or whatever. Um... I'm really tired of people just assuming that Asian men don't like black women. That's simply not true. Um, though we do not see, like, an abundance amount of black women with Asian men, it doesn't mean that it's impossible. On my blog, I had a girl who uh, was spitting out these percentages at me and saying how uh, it's completely impossible to date uh, a Korean man, and, you know, it's percentages like that that keep black women from dating Asian men and Asian men from dating black women. If we always went by statistics, I feel like nothing would change, nothing would get done. Like, um, I think somebody told me that the interracial... Um, marriages among Asian men in America, I think, is like something around 8% or something like that. But at some point, it was like 1%, right? So it increased, at least, so it's getting better. So don't, don't be so negative. And I know this sounds so cliche, but it really does matter what's on the inside. It really does. Um, men are men before they are Korean, black, white, or whatever they are, okay? Like, if you have a good personality, and you can connect with them, and you can communicate with them in Hanguko and Korean, then you have more of a chance of actually dating them, okay? Now, um, that being said... I was on this other blog um, a couple weeks ago called This Is Not Korea Korean, and they talk a lot about, help me out with this word, y'all, um, fetishization. That is so hard for me to say, um, ooh, um, of Korean men and Asian men in general. Let me make this perfectly clear. I love rain, okay? Rain, sarang hail. I love me some rain, okay? Um, I know I objectify him a lot because of his hot body, but um, I don't like rain just because he's Korean and he's hot. I mean, I like um, his story, what he's been through, how, like, you know, even though he lost his mom, you know, he, he still uh, pursued his career. And even though people told him that he would never make it just because he had the small Asian eyes, he still pursued his dream and he made it happen. And he's the wonderful rain that we know today. So I don't, and I don't just like him just because he's high. I like him way more because of that. Because he's a businessman, he's a singer, he's an actor, he's a dancer, he's just, ugh. Everything. Love him. So, I had to throw that in there.
I used to be that girl that was like, I want a Korean man, I only want a Korean man, and Korean man, Korean man, and, um, I don't know, there's something wrong about that, we should like a man because we like him specifically, not just because he is Korean, because that, um, I don't know, that starts the relationship off on a very shallow basis. Um, I think it's okay to have a preference and you tend to like what you like, but um, at the end of the day, like, don't narrow it down to just Korean men when you have so many billions of men walking around on Earth. I mean, nobody wants to hear, like, after a couple years of marriage, and they say, oh, why did we get married? Oh, because you were Korean. <laughs> so, um, you know, make sure you, you date them because you actually genuinely like them. Um, when it comes to idols, we can't just get so upset when an idol says that, Oh, I only like white girls, or, uh, or even if he says, oh, I only like Korean girls, or if one says he likes black girls, because, I don't know, that's just one man, you know, there are millions of Korean men, and it's just to get upset over one, I mean, okay, yeah, I get upset, I might drop a little tear or something, if Rain to he didn't like the dark ladies. I would be upset like, oh Rain, I love you. But at the same time, like I know I'm not gonna marry Rain. I know I'm not gonna ever date him. Hopefully I get to meet him one day, but that's the chances of that are not likely either. But I'm still gonna have hope. Um Rain is a man and he deserves to be happy and whatever he likes, he likes. And I feel like as fans, we need to respect that, um, because our idols are people too. Um, if it's really true that our idols, our Korean pop idols, tend to like uh, girls that are Korean more so than anything else, well, you have to take into account like what their lives are like. Idols, um, from what I hear anyway, and from what I've read, idols live a horrible life. Uh, they, well, maybe it's not horrible for them, but, you know, they, all they do is, like, sing, practice, shoot a video, sing, practice, performance, sing, practice, another video, you know, and they're always running around with the same group of people, um, forgive me if I'm mixing up my companies with YG and, um, JYP or whatever, but, you know, just, just imagine, like, TVXQ running around and they see SNSD, oh hey, how y'all doing? Oh, we're going to shoot a video, la la la, you know, and they keep it moving. Um, you know, if that's what they always see all the time and they get to know them and hang out with them all the time, eat dinner with them, blah blah, then yeah, of course they're going to be drawn to those girls more. Um, whereas, like, I feel that um, some of them, if they were exposed to a wider um, range of people, maybe. They would like uh, black women or white women or Latino women or whatever else um, more if they had more exposure to it. But idols don't get too much exposure, um, even though they do have some foreigners working at the companies. So I can't say that they completely don't have exposure to it. Um, but generally speaking, probably not. So... Please don't get so upset when Opa um, makes a statement about the girls that he likes. And then they're young, uh, most of them are really young anyway, and they, they still haven't lived enough to know um, what's really out there in the world. Um, so, to wrap this up. Please don't, especially before you go to Korea, don't look at the statistics, don't look at the numbers, don't look at any articles that say it's uh, impossible to date a Korean man, because it's not. It's possible, 
as long as you know the language or if they happen to know English, um, it could happen. It could work. Um, sure, um, there might be some complications when it comes to marriage uh, and whether the parents will accept you. Um, you might get lucky and find those random parents that will accept you, and then you have your other cases where you don't. Uh, then it, it's up to the guy whether he loves you so much and he'll just, you know, defy his parents and just be with you anyway, or he respects his parents and not with you. But, um, I don't know. I, f I feel like um, in a lot of situations, love conquers all. So, you just never know, okay? So, don't rule out the fact that a Korean guy or even a Chinese guy, Japanese guy, or whoever, uh, would date you or not. Like, it's possible. So, stay optimistic, y'all. And be a part of the change. You know, um... There are a lot of Korean men that are interested in black women, and, um, you know, they're afraid to approach us because they assume that we don't like them, and that's not true. We do like them. Maybe not all of us like them, but I personally love them, okay? <laughs> stay hopeful. Please stay optimistic. Love conquers all, and there's a chance there's always that chance. You can leave comments or any questions you might have. And thanks for watching. See you later.